Today we're going to be reading another trickster tale. This one is also from the Trickster Tales 40 Folk Stories from Around the World book that we've been reading. This one. And we're going to be reading this story called Raven Steals the Light. This is a tale from the Inuit people of Alaska. It says, Raven is perhaps the most important trickster in the Pacific Northwest. Sometimes another trickster, Blue Jay, gets to play a few pranks in that region. And sometimes Coyote, a, southern, a southwestern trickster, wanders up to interfere. But the Pacific Northwest is Raven's home, and there he rules. Sometimes he looks like a true raven, raven and sometimes he looks like a man. But he has great powers no matter what shape he's wearing. And now the story starts. This happened in a long this happened in the long ago days. Back then it was always dark. There was no sun in the sky and people had to creep along the ground so that they wouldn't bump, bump into anything. This is boring, Raven said to Squirrel. I can't even see to fly. I mean, do something about this. There was a wealthy man who lived with his daughter away from anyone else. But a strange story reached Raven's curious ears. It's said that the man owned two balls that glowed brightly in the dark. One of them was big, the other was small, and they were both very bright. I'm going to go get those shiny toys, Raven said. So he stole, so he stole to the rich man's well. So he stole to the rich man's well and turned himself into a bit of dirt. He could do that, change his shape, without trouble. A raven said a wish spell. I wish that the rich man's daughter would grow thirsty and drink from this well. As he said it, the rich man's daughter did indeed grow very thirsty. She pulled a bucket of water up from the well and drank it down. And she drank down the bit of dirt that was raven, too. Soon enough, the rich man's daughter grew round like with a child. She gave birth to a baby boy named Raven. The only sign that it wasn't a normal human child was that he made a slight mistake. He was born with the tail of a raven. How weird. His mother didn't like that, neither did his uncles or his brothers. But whenever they started to tease the little boy about his tail, Raven out shouted them. I want the balls, he yelled. I want the glittery, glowy, gleaming balls. You'll only break them, he was told. I want the gleaming balls, Raven yelled. He made so much noise that at last the rich man, his grandfather, gave Raven the balls just to keep him quiet. Raven played with them a bit just the way a child would play, rolling the gleaming toys around on the floor and laughing. But each time he rolled them, he rolled those gleaming balls a little closer to the door. Squirrel, who had been patiently waiting all this while, crept up to the door. Raven saw him and suddenly gave the balls a great kick. Squirrel caught the larger ball and ran. Raven after him. The rich man ran after both of them. Every time the man got too close to the squirrel, Squirrel tossed the larger ball to Raven. Every time the rich man got too close to Raven, Raven would toss the ball to Squirrel. At last, Raven turned back to his bird shape and flew up in the air with the ball. Give it back, the rich man yelled. No! Give it back! No! I have the other ball. See how it gleams, the rich man said, holding up the smaller ball. Raven laughed. I'd rather have this one, but if you take this ball, the rich man said, the nights will be nice and long, dark as your feathers. I'd rather have days long and bright, Raven said, to show off my feathers. And Raven threw the ball up into the sky, where it became the sun. Some people say the rich man was so angry that he threw the small ball up there too, where it became the moon. But that's just what some people say. The end. <laughs>